Hi everybody! I am thrilled and proud to present a project that I personally led a book about Game of Thrones. It's a vast collaboration with many other YouTube channels and two God Academy collaborators. We are exploring in this book all the ways in which Game of Thrones has become the top pop culture phenomenon of our lives. How it has become so successful and what this success means. This book is made up of 10 chapters. I wrote one of them. I co-wrote another one with our collaborator Noga Ariel Galore. Theo Ganji, another GOT Academy collaborator, wrote another one. He's a novelist, a literature professor and a writing professor. And there are chapters by Val from Because Geek, by History of Westeros, Civilization X, Secrets of the Citadel, Grey Area, Smokescreen, and Ideas of Ice and Fire. The book is titled The Thrones Effect, how HBO's Game of Thrones conquered pop culture. So we take a broad view at the impact that Game of Thrones had on pop culture from all kinds of angles. And also we dig deep to understand the roots of its success. So if you're the kind of person who enjoy Game of Thrones and you want to enjoy it more, there's only one thing you need. The Thrones effect. Oof. The effect that the Thrones effect will have on you will improve your life to a... An immeasurable amount, immeasurable amount. Wow, wow, wow. The book is, I think, a requisite for the final season of this story, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is unlike any other show that we've seen, with its global appeal and reach across nationalities, genders, ages, and tastes. It is here to stay. Click the link, go and get it. In my chapter, I went back to the basics, to the historical and political elements of the story and how these are, in my view, what made Game of Thrones so appealing to so many people. That we can see our own histories or our imagined histories or our shared imagined histories in this story, even if we don't know all the details of our of these said histories, or all the details of the War of the Roses, or the Mongolian unification, or the Italian city-states, or whatever, the authenticity of this story, inspired by real history, I think oozes from every scene, be it in the books or in the show. And also I go into detail how basing the most important twists and turns and events on the best events that history has to offer, because there's nothing more compelling than things that actually happened, just makes this story like no other. Not to mention all the political processes that mirror our own in our own history, and also the contemporary political context of the time in which we live now. That's my chapter. There's the chapter that I co-wrote with Noga about the psychoanalytical elements of the story and how when we watch the show, the processes that the characters go mirror some of the processes that we go through in life, albeit in a more extreme way. Some of you may know that I'm actually a published author already. Let me get my book. It's in Hebrew, so you can't read it, but I, pub but I published this book way back in 2013, got very good reviews. Boom. I was a blogger for, for a long time, so I jumped on the opportunity to get back to basics and write again after a long time. And just to produce this whole project, I reached out to all these YouTubers, got them all together for this project, each with his or her own perspective and expertise regarding the story. And even though I thought I already knew all that there is to know about Game of Thrones, reading their chapters, editing their chapters, because I was the editor for this book. Uh, because I also edited the entire book. 
I felt like I was rediscovering in some way the story that I love so much. אני רוצה לשבת פה, וכשאני אגיד ביי לקפוץ עליי, עם איזה חיבוק או משהו. I'm super proud to have this book out. It wasn't easy gathering all these talented people, making sure all our topics are in line and complete each other for the, for, for the full experience that is meant to enhance our enjoyment of this story. And in this video I'd like to give Anthony Peter Medina, aka Civilization X, a chance to talk about his chapter a little bit. Among the many factors that have helped propel Game of Thrones into mainstream success is the ability of each viewer to interpret the show in their own way, resulting from the profound depth given to the setting, story, and characters. In Chapter 5 of The Thrones Effect, titled Eye of the Beholder, the perspective of these characters are explored, as are the various ways the audience reacted to their decisions. Is Ned a valiant hero for trying to rise above politics? Or a fool whose willful ignorance left the realm in chaos? Is Jaime a vain, dishonorable scoundrel who beds his sister? or an unsung hero who saved a city and just so happens to bet his sister. Opinions vary. So if you want to make the most out of your Game of Thrones experience, if you've been digging this channel's content, make sure you have this book. It is a must have book. I'm thrilled that I can finally talk about it. This has been in the works for months. And this is the best time to get it out. Just as the season is here, the eighth and final season, so get your Game of Thrones book now. Again, the link is in the description. So I hope you will have as much fun reading this book as I had writing my chapter, co-writing the other chapter with Noga and editing the whole thing. So let me know what you think about the book. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Hey! <laughs> 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 <laughs>